Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to see more videos. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over our walnut sap collection and how that's going and what we're doing to help out our grow area for the 2020 grow season. But first, if you wouldn't mind, if you are new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you already have subscribed, thank you very much. And if you wouldn't mind, please give us a big thumbs up on the video to show your support. So guys, first and foremost, I wanna thank all of you for the support and the, uh, the orders that are just coming in. Our Biox is just flying off the shelves, really. Uh, a lot of orders this week, so I do appreciate everybody submitting orders and sending emails. Keep them coming, guys. I do appreciate the support. Everybody uh, that's ordered this week has been from YouTube, and uh, I can't thank all of you enough. Also, thank you for supporting us here at the farm, you know, as we go through this transition uh, into more farm content. I know, guys, I uh, put that video out, uh, out this week uh, with the plants, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was good to uh, get back to some original content, but here today, we're going to be talking about new stuff that we're doing here at the farm. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for the support. So today... Uh, you know, it's cool out. It's been a cooler week, uh, but sap collection has resumed here at the farm. Last week, we didn't collect anything. It was really making me nervous about this project. I didn't think it was uh, going to be all what it cracked up to be, but this week, um, we have uh, started collecting sap again. Now, we went from the 70s uh, to the upper 60s last week. Now, we're in the 20s to the upper 30s. And we're only collecting sap during the day. So we're only getting about a five to six hour window of sap collection. So it hasn't been that great. Next week, the forecast is looking ideal for sap collection. So we should really be in the thick of it next week. Uh, but I will bring you over to the trees and kind of show you now that we have some sap to show you um, how we're collecting it and what it looks like. Uh, you guys will be pretty impressed. It kind of looks and tastes like spring water when it comes out of the tree, which is really cool. Uh, other than that, we've been burning a lot of wood in our wood stove, guys. With this cold weather, uh, we've been burning a lot of wood to keep the house nice and warm. And what we do with the wood ash is something a lot of growers should really consider. And I don't know if some do, some don't. Um, but it's a very fairly well-known tactic is taking the wood ash and applying it to your grow area or garden or whatever you have, even a potted soil, a potted plant. Adding that adds so much nutrients. So today I'm going to take you over to the grow area. I'm going to show you how I apply that wood ash. This will be about the fourth time I've done it this year. Uh, so I want to show you how I'm doing that. And since we have a bunch of wood ash from this week, it will be really easy to show you guys. So first, let's head over to the walnut trees. I'm going to show you how we're doing over there. And then we're going to head over to the grow area. All right, so now we're heading over to the walnut trees here. And this is uh, my heaviest producing tree right now. And as you can see, here's the tap. Nice plastic tap and a food grade tube uh, that goes all the way down to the jug. Now if I remove the tube, you can see, bring it up to the light here, it is a full gallon of sap. Now you can drink this right out of the tree. I'm not going to today. Uh, I've got to empty it. What I usually do is I bring a, a pot or a uh, five gallon bucket and I dump all the sap into that and then I bring it into the house and I evaporate it. Right now with a small uh operation i don't need to do any outside of operation but i will probably in the future but yeah that's it so we have some sap here and i will be uh collecting that and evaporating it this afternoon but let's head over to the grow area so i can show you what i'm doing with our wood ash all right folks so now we are at the grow area and as you can see it's all cultivated up and uh, we did that in a previous video go ahead and check that out but today we're going to be adding wood ash. Now I haven't added any other amendments yet. I need to get on that. You know, we got some lime, some gypsum, and some other stuff I need to add to this. But right now we're going to be adding wood ash from the wood stove. And here's my collection of it. And what I like to do is I take a cup and I just fill it up nice. And I bring it out here to the grow area and I just kind of give it a good chuck. And that's really it. Now you can... A lot of times, if you don't have the time, uh, just go out and dump the bucket. So you can see here. And that's it. And so I'll do that throughout the entire grow area. I don't need to sit here and show you that. But yeah, I just kind of uh, spread it across and uh, make sure that um, 
I get it all nice and distributed throughout the grow area. Here's just a cup of it. Nothing crazy, just wood ash. And that's it. So we're gonna do that today, get some of those nutrients into this ground. Well, folks, that's all I have for today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And again, guys, thank you so much for the support and subscribing and just submitting all those orders. And uh, if you guys are interested in anything, don't forget to just send me an email and I will reply, even if it's just a question about anything. I always appreciate hearing from my YouTube subscribers and supporters. Uh, and as always, guys, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll leave those links in the description below. But that's all I have for you this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed everything and our new project here on the farm with the walnut sap. Uh, I am really excited about it, and I know it's new, so bear with me on that. But as always, guys, I will see you in another video. Take care.